Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and it's home economics time. This time it's freezer meals. Okay, here's what we got going on. I have these Betty Crocker, Betty Crocker foil pans and I this is two packages of just spuds instant potatoes four cups of boiling water two cups of milk this is four dollars and 38 cents i think worth of spinach fresh spinach this is four pounds of ground turkey um i put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pot and I started it cooking and I added a half a cup of dehydrated celery, a half a cup of dehydrated peppers, four cans of mushrooms, and two cups of diced fresh onion. Now there's juice in here, you can see, because I did add some water. So we're gonna make some turkey spinach shepherd's pies. I know it's technically it's not a shepherd's pie, but this is the way I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to do this one pan at a time. I have here a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup of MSG free onion soup mix. And that's going right in there. Now you may ask why. Because once the spinach starts cooking, it's going to give off water and this mixed in will just ensure that we get a gravy all right so then if this looks light colored it's because it is turkey folks it is lean ground turkey this is our potatoes i'm going to crack two eggs and we're going to try you know what this might need more milk it does i didn't put the full two cups of milk in because I thought it might be too watery, but I'm wrong on occasion. Quite often, actually. Now, I have also, when I made these potatoes, I put in two teaspoons of garlic powder. You do you, okay? I'm going to whip these eggs in here and the milk. Yeah, I should have grabbed my hand electric mixer, but until my shoulder gives out. Okay. I'm going to take my handy dandy ice cream scoop. Now this was only four pounds of turkey, folks. But I added onions, peppers, celery. So it bulked it up quite nicely. You don't actually need a whole lot of this. What? You say I should have more? Okay, we'll just put a little bit more in there. Now you got to remember, this is just Papa and I. So, I mean... These are bigger than the last time I made the I made uh, meals because Daddy said it wasn't enough. So now my spinach has been destemmed and washed. This is not baby spinach. Feel free to use baby spinach, and I'm just going to shred the spinach in a layer. Now I'm doing it this way. Why? Because I once that you know the spinach is loose. You're going to end up trying to spread it. It's not going to work. There is egg in here to give it a nice firm texture for cooking. But now this is really pretty. That's really pretty. But guess what? It's going to get smushed down by the lid. So when the spinach, when the spinach cooks, it will release water down into the turkey and flour and onion soup mix and it will make a lovely gravy. This is going to kind of squish those potatoes down and they'll still be pretty but they'll just be a little more flattened. Turkey, Shep, Pie, uh, January 2021. Just like that so I'm gonna continue on until I run out of potatoes and then I'm gonna try something different now here I have 
some oven ready lasagna noodles they were I think $2.99 these were on sale for I think $1.79 which I didn't think was a great sale price but we work with what we have 99 cents $1.99 cottage cheese $1.99 cottage cheese and nine dollars of mozzarella which I'm going to go grind and can't see it but two eggs okay so I'm gonna go grind this up in Sam and I'll be back all right let's see how many lasagnas we can get this is our meat from that four pounds of turkey and all that so I'm gonna put that aside with my foot my pans here and I'm gonna open these cans of sauce and here's our grated those two packages of cheese thank you Sam didn't take me but a couple of minutes and it saved my wrist from the cheese grater and a can, can of tomatoes why because a I'm going to be putting spit raw spinach in this but I'm using oven ready noodles which means we're going to need the extra moisture and we're going to drop in two tubs of cottage cheese you can use ricotta if you want I prefer cottage cheese it gives it more bulk I'm gonna crack I'm gonna put in a nice big handful of spinach okay make it a couple because this is where the most of our veg is coming up from other than the tomatoes and celery and stuff but these recipes have less noodles more nutrition papa likes his noodles but he's only getting two layers so put this on power and pulse i think i should have put the spinach in the bottom you know that And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful, lovely, green cottage cheese center. There's people like me who don't necessarily like aluminum next to their food, especially when it's going to be in the freezer for any length of time. That might actually be too much. We'll see. But remember, this is going to be in a layer, right? So... This is going to be the tricky part because these are, now I don't recommend you doing this with gluten-free oven ready noodles. It, they, it come, they don't hold up in the freezer. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna snap off a little piece here and here, save all your little pieces. Yes, I could have made my own noodles, but um, I would just rather do it this way. Okay, so here, I'm going to break him off there. Break this one off here. Nope, a little too long. Here. And then, just put your broken pieces in around the edge. Now... We're going to take some of our cottage cheese and spinach filling, just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? A little sprinkle of mozzarella. This is why I added the can of tomatoes, folks. This is going to be pretty juicy. This is going to be pretty juicy. Drop our little bits in here. Nothing goes to waste. Sauce. Again, a, probably a spatula that doesn't have green filling on it. And now we're going to top it with our mozzarella. Now, these aren't the big $10, $12 ones or $15 ones you get, you know, in the freezer section of the grocery store. These are more nutritious less noodles more nutrients 
Now, yes, I have a ton of le uh, spinach left over. That's going to be for the freezer meals I make tomorrow, January 2021. One. I got five lasagnas and three shepherd's pies, but guess what? I still have this left over. I guess I should have been more generous in the shepherd's pies. But we'll make one final dish out of this. And this is not going to have any noodles. It's just going to have the meat and the cheese and the spinach. If I can just get this out of here. A little bit of cottage cheese and spinach. I'm just going to spread or shred a bit more spinach on top. This is a very low carb, um, like low starch meal. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to top this with grated Parmesan. If in doubt, Shovel on the Parmesan. Right? There. And that was about $2 in Parmesan because that was not cheap. But I'm saying these out loud so I can add it all up for y'all. Turkey. Spinach. Arm. All right, let's go out the porch and see what we got. Okay, so I got six turkey spinach lasagnas, three turkey spinach shepherd's pies, and one turkey spinach parmesan. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying I found ground turkey in my freezer that had to be used up. Four pounds gave me ten meals. That's just good home economics. Take care, God bless.